Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use tools such as uh, Detach and Duplicate in Clara.io. Let's start by adding uh, an OBJ file. My OBJ file has one MTL file and one OBJ, so I have to select both of them and drag and drop into the scene. So we wait for a couple of seconds and the mesh will show up in the viewport. So. Let's say I'm going to detach this uh, section of uh, the building from the rest. So I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to select the mesh, I'm going to go to the face mode, and I'm going to select this mesh. As you can see, it is a bit hard to uh, select this one one by one. So I can show you another method that you can use one of the functionality of uh, cloud.io that you can uh, select one of these faces and you have grow and shrink. So I'm going to select and grow, grow, grow. As you can see, step by step, you can uh, select the entire mesh. So without uh, too much um, a problem on going to different views, selecting by my one and interfering with uh, other selections, I selected these sections. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to detach this. So if I click on detach and if I move this, as you can see, around the border of the selections, I detach my uh, part of the um, part of the objects from the uh, rest of them, and you have to detach as uh, your uh, operator. So you can easily go to here and disable. If you disable, you can see that moving this section of uh, the object is still connected, and no detach is performed. So you can easily turn it on, and you can see that uh, it's working correctly. So I'm going to go back and uh, two steps. And if I move this, you can see that this is attached here. Now let's say I'm going to select uh, this half of the mesh. I'm going to check, make sure that the half is correct. And then I'm going to go here in the face mode and select duplicate. So as soon as I click this one, you can see duplicate component is added to the operator list. If I move this here, you see the face is are copied in the same mesh. Sometimes people uh, want to detach or duplicate uh, uh, from uh, from a single mesh and make them separate nodes so they can uh, use it uh, with other uh, models that they have. So I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to click uh, and select this selection. So. As long as someone clicks on this checkbox and then click on detach or duplicate, what what they do is they detaching the mesh, creating a node. If you go to the explorer, you can see that we have house and we have house detach. So this this is completely a separate mesh and a separate object. If I go to the face mode, I can select this half because this is a se separate mesh. In the same way, I'm going to control Z, undo, so I'm going to have a single mesh again. I'm going to go to the face mode, select these faces, and make sure this checkbox is uh, ticked, and I'm going to click on duplicate. Now, my new detach, uh, duplicated uh, faces are here. This is a separate mesh, and this is a separate mesh. So now you have two different objects which are not in part of one object. For any reason, when you decided to combine these two, you just have to select both of your meshes, like this, right click, you can go to object and merge, or you can, from the object selection, sub-object, you can go to the merge, and the third option from model, go merge. They, they all do the same thing. So I'm gonna select from here, we have to wait for a couple of seconds. If your mesh is bigger, you have to wait longer because you're going to transfer data uh, and send it to the server so you can uh, save them uh, in the browser. So as long as you, uh, you're you not checking this box and you just click on detach and duplicate, it's going to be in your local machine. But since uh, we checked this one, a separate node needs uh, needs us uh, to send the data to the server. 
So it was about uh, detaching and duplicating. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, like this video, and leave your comments. Thank you so much. See you next time.